when you compare uh, European football to uh, football in Africa or in South Africa, there's a huge gap that still needs to be bridged or we should start working towards bridging that gap. And ways that we can do uh, um, that is to start from down there, have a proper structure from grassroots grass root football. And schools are a, a good platform for us to start because in Europe what they have is that kids start playing from age six up to 16 and girls play with boys from age 6 up to 16 because there's a lot of growth there and there's a lot of uh, uh, good quality football that they take there and grow with from that age and I think in South Africa if we could start that and encourage that I mean a lot of us uh, my generation especially we started playing with boys but it was not encouraged we chose I chose to start playing with boys and that helped me in the long run so what we need to do is put structures that will encourage and monitor the, those structures because if we do not start and scrape from down there we will never bridge the, the gap between that but also other things that make them better than us in Europe is that they have incentives for their players in the club that I was doing my internship in they pay their players or they try to make means for them to compete continue com competing in the in the league and also have commitment in the team so we should also try find ways and means to also encourage mass participation from different levels can be monetary it can be material anything that will help them cut the cost of playing football but it should just be about football so we should try and bridge and bring all the components that will help them be hooked to sport because if we are not hooked into sport it's not even about encouragement we should be hooked into sport so much that we are commit ourselves and give all to football because we have the potential. I had the opportunity to train a couple of times with the teams and I saw the level is not so big but because they have structure and they are taught certain ways of playing football they, it makes them better because when they're a team and they do that it's even better so it's difficult to say we can compete with that stage because we don't have a proper structure we don't have things that make us unique about our football so they are taught that from an early age and it goes it goes up to the national team so i think if south africa could have an identity in women's football especially to say this is how we want to play football this is a standard we are setting for ourselves that way we'll have quality coaches will produce quality players and we'll have more opportunities to even send our players overseas to compete because we have the potential to do that so i think uh, we should now start looking into grassroots football. Schools is a, is a good way to start because already the schools have rules and everything that will keep the kids together. You j we just need to go there and have plans to implement and actually sustain those plans as well because that is another thing. We start a lot of projects and we don't finish them. Then we end up losing resources. So I think we should start, implement and sustain all the programs that we take. <laughs> it, it brings joy to, to me because it means my hard work is, is actually being recognized and I'm also getting the opportunity to be fast tracked into the big league and for, for women it's being in the national teams and I think um, getting the opportunity to work with uh, coaches that have experience in that level is actually good news for me and which means that I can continue working hard and there's a future for me in coaching in women's football so um, it's actually encouraging to hear that I'll, I'll be given a chance to show who I am and what I'm made of in terms of coaching in women's football.